What's up guys, this is your casual gamer. So if you're a PC gamer, you know that not every PC game will be available on one launcher. We have multiple, such as Origin, Uplay, and the big two, Epic and Steam. Now I'm going to show you how to bring all of your games into one launcher called Play Night. Oh, and I'm also gonna show you how to add emulators and ROMs as well. Let's get into the setup. All right, here we are on the homepage of playnight.link. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, you wanna go up to download and then download installer. And your download should start. Once it's finished, let's go up to the top right, click on the three dots, select downloads, show in folder. We can exit out of the browser and let's drag the playnight811 to the desktop. Exit out. Now let's go ahead and open it. Now you have to select wherever you would like to install Play Night, whether that's your C drive, your hard drive, external hard drive, or your SSD. Go ahead and click on browse and select wherever you would like to have it installed. Click next. If you want a desktop shortcut and a quick launch shortcut, make sure both of these are checked. Click next. If everything looks okay, click install. Once it's done, make sure launch play night is checked and go ahead and click on finish. Welcome to the first time configuration. Next, library integration. Now you wanna make sure you have all of the launchers that's on your PC that holds your games checked here. So in my case, I don't have Amazon games. I only want Battle.net, Steam, and Epic. Next. So for battle.net, import install games is checked. That's what I want. Next, next, Epic Games, import install games is checked. Next, and Steam, import install games is checked. Next, configuration finished, click finish. Now give it a minute as it downloads the metadata and this may take a while. Now once all of your metadata is done loading in for your games, you're going to have your list of games off to the left. You're going to have cover art for each game and you're going to have box art as well as details about each game. Now we can't change the way our games are being displayed right now. This view we're looking at right now is called detail view. If you want to change this, then you want to come up here to the three little dots. And we could change this from detail view to grid view. This puts our games in a grid view. This is my favorite. We can come back up here and we can also change this to list view. And this basically just gives you a list of all of your games you have installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this back to grid view because this is the way I prefer to see my games. Now, if you are going to be using the grid view, you can change the size of your cover art here by coming down to the zoom button and you can pull this up to make your cover art bigger and you can pull it down to make your cover art smaller. It's up to you. Now, if you would like to go into full screen mode, go ahead and hit F11. Now this is the best way to navigate play night if you're going to be using a controller and also if you're going to have your pc connected to your tv playing pc games this makes it a lot better it's similar to steam's big picture mode now when you're ready to launch a game all you want to do is select the game you're ready to launch up let's do cuphead and then we just hit play
Now I'm going to show you guys how to add emulators to Play Night. You want to come up here and click on the little controller logo, go to library and configure emulators. Now if you don't already have some emulators on your PC, you can come down here to download emulators and they have a nice selection of emulators you can download. Or if you already have emulators on your PC, you can go to import emulators and auto detect from folder. Locate wherever your emulators are on your computer and then select folder. I had two on my external hard drive. I have Dolphin and PCSX2 import and then go to save. To upload your ROMs, you want to go back up to the controller logo, add game, emulated game. You want to go to scan folder using emulator. Choose which emulator you want to upload ROMs for. I'm going to do Dolphin, Nintendo GameCube. Locate wherever your ROMs are on your PC and then select folder. There's my Dolphin games. Go ahead and hit import. And you'll see the metadata loading in. Now if we scroll through, those games should be in the mix. There's one right here, Mario Party 4. There's Mario Golf, Pokemon Coliseum. Now if you wanna separate your ROMs from your PC games, you wanna come up here to Filter Active. And we have a bunch of filters over here we can separate our games by. You guys can play around with this if you would like. But we're going to focus on this first one, platform. Click the drop down arrow and we want to unselect PC and only leave Nintendo GameCube checked. And now we can only see our GameCube games. Let's go ahead and load up one. All you need to do is click on it and press the little play button. We'll load up Beautiful Joe 2 and it launches right into the emulator. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.